Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. I'm just giving you guys an update on my beans. So this is the Black Eyed Peas. They're doing really well. You can see I've got quite a few bean pods and they're already filling out. They haven't started drying yet, but they should soon. I've got some monster bean pods here. So they're doing really well. Seems like this side is much thicker and larger. And this side, they're kind of stunted. So I don't know what happened here. Maybe this is on an angle and all the moisture is running down this way, or maybe the uh, nutrients that I'm given is running down that way. I don't know what that is. It could just be because the sun is coming up from that direction and maybe these were blocking early, but all this seems to be getting light. I don't really see anything blocking other, other plants light. Uh, so I don't really know what that is. If you guys do, let me know. Um, I do have some yellowing going on on the bottom leaves, so might need to get some nitrogen in here pretty soon. They might have uh, used it up. I'm trying not to give a whole lot of nutrients here because the more nutrients you give, uh, the less that they focus on producing beans rather than the foliage. But I might have to give a little bit here uh, soon just to get them over this hump of producing those beans and I mean once they produce they kind of die back anyway and That might be what's happening here Because I mean they're they're pretty well produced now. This isn't a huge production of beans uh, I think it's gonna be more than last year because I don't have any problems with aphids like I did um, So I should have a good production here be able to get probably double what I got last year, which wasn't a lot. It was enough for two meals, three meals, or something like that. I should get enough for six meals now for my family with the with the beans, which isn't bad for a little little plot like this, uh, four by eight. So um, again, I'm not sure what's going on over here. At least they're still producing beans, but definitely not as thick as here. So uh, next is the. And by the way, I say beans. They're a bean to me. They're It's a black-eyed pea. They're not really a pea. They're not really a bean, but I'm calling it beans. So just so you guys know. Over here are the beans. So these are the actual beans, green beans, and they're doing really well. Um, this side was first to kind of sprout up and, and also take over. I mean, it, you know, they've gotten pretty tall up to here. Uh, some of them, you know, most of them are growing really tall. That side was a little stunted at first, but this one just started getting a couple flowers on it. You can see uh, they're, they're just starting in there. And uh, this is the only one right here. Uh, all the rest haven't really yet. Even this really, the, the tallest one, nothing yet. But you can see the start here. We're going to get some. Uh, so pretty soon we will. But as of now, that's the only one in this variety. So if you guys weren't following along, uh, I've got two different varieties here. Okay, um, and uh, this is the Kentucky Blue, and that's the Kentucky Wonder. Okay, so the Kentucky Wonder has smaller leaves, I've noticed, too. Um, much smaller leaves, uh, more of them, a little denser. Uh, this one has bigger leaves, you can see, but look at all of them. Every single one of these is, is flowering. I haven't seen any beans start yet. Let's see what happened here. Oh, there's a little start of a bean. So we're going to get beans pretty soon here. Uh, but every single one you can see just flowers everywhere So that's good. Uh, now the foliage isn't as dense and right now it's a little hot So they're kind of curling up some of these they look Like uh, they're having trouble. I do lose a couple here and there um, That I try to pick off just to keep disease away A um, couple couple get eaten by some bugs, but overall I'm getting a lot of flowers off this, so we'll see. Uh, I haven't noticed a whole lot in growth in height, so maybe that means, again, just like over there, I'd probably have to add some fertilizer. Now, one thing I want to mention is all of my beds had a problem with something called Roundup last year. So I was putting in some straw as like a, uh, a mulch, and I noticed that some of my crops were getting uh, issues with curling and funky leaves. And I looked it up and it turns out that's, uh, I call it grazon because uh, that happens a lot with uh, the cow manure when you spread that on the compost. However, it's, uh, it's also a problem with a lot of like straw and stuff with the Roundup. So I think it's probably Roundup even though I call it grazon. Sorry guys, some people corrected me online and uh, thank you for that correction. I just wanted to let you guys know, but that is what was happening. Uh, 
And if you look, I can see if I can find a couple leaves. I do have that problem every once in a while. Now it's a lot better than last year. Look, there we go. You can see that kind of a funky shaped leaf, little curling going on. Um, so I have a right there, you can see. And so while it's not as bad, here's some more, they're kind of, you know, not, not as perfect, which is fine. I mean, I don't really care about it, what it looks like, but that does mean that these might be stunted right there. You can see, and that's a sign of that. And it could just be carryover because I mean, it does take a long time. It has a long half-life. Now it's not as bad as last year. Every year it's going to get better, but, um, you know, that could be why these aren't growing as massively as I expected. So these are now seven weeks old. They're really quick. I mean, that's the thing with beans. They are really quick. There's something that you can put in the fall. Now, depending on what your climate is, you should be able to harvest before the winter, uh, but they will continue growing throughout the, the fall. And I should get multiple different harvests from them. At least these, these are a one shot go kind of thing. They don't, they, they die after they produce at least my understanding of it. Um, let me know if I'm wrong on that. Uh, they're a little different, the black eyed peas, but the beans here, um, as long as I keep them growing and keep them healthy, they should produce until we get frost. But they are, but they are quick to come up and quick to produce. I'll bring you guys back once I start harvesting and show you guys kind of the, the yield that I'm gonna be getting from these. It's not as high as I kind of expected, I don't think it's not gonna be, but there are quite a few from this plant you can see down here you can see all the flowers so hopefully these start producing more flowers soon but i'm not 100 percent sure on that we do have a lot of little flower buds starting here so hopefully this one maybe a little slower than that uh, starts producing i find that funny because these really took off right away with the foliage and those did not i thought those were going to have issues but those are the first to start producing it's interesting how that goes so anyway thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.